Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. So as you can see we're going over all of the sites within all of the different cosmetics. There's a bunch of legendaries, there's a bunch of rares and some people can't obviously afford everything and I've only been able to do that because of your amazing support. You're smashing the like button like freaking crazy and I will bring you that face cam and the live streaming soon. I'm going to do a whole video on it and my plan with that. But moving on, we're basically doing something a bit more unique because there, there's a few of these videos already out there, but I'm fairly certain there isn't a single one where they've actually shown you the gun in game, not just showing you it in like, say, the loadout. Um, but yeah, moving on, we're pretty much going to get straight on this and I'm going to break each different one down. But the first thing you need to know is there are three different variants now basically when you go into your loadout you see we have all your different legendaries epics rares and commons now if all of the rares you'll notice the iron sights are exactly the same the gun the gun model itself is exactly the same all the way up through common rare all of the epics even though they have a slightly like animated look, the actual gun model and the iron sights are all the same throughout every gun through epic, common and rare. And then it changes when it gets to legendary. And this is when you get two different types of legendary skins. And then you do get a few special ones like battle pass ones. But in general, for most weapons, you get two legendary types. So say here, you've got the low rider and the death rattle and these both have the spikes on the edge they have more of like a flamey effect and i've got the spine chiller like a more black version um, and then you also have hazard play and fawned rose and as you can see these have more of like a a little like um i don't even know what to call them little bobs coming out the edge and these have a much more like um futuristic scientific like look to them um, but they all change the iron sights and the look of the gun when you're aiming down it slightly and we're going to be covering that and actually showing you in game so let's move on with that so as you can see with the hem uh, the flat line we're going to do this really quick now that I've explained the basics you can see I've got the three basic versions the basic is always going to be on the left and then the two different legendary versions are on the right so you can see in the middle we've got that spiked one we were talking about and on the right we've got that little bubbled one and even though they do look amazing if you're going for efficiency and you want to remove less clutter and make your um, iron sights more visible and more accurate then for the flat line you're probably just going to be fine with any of the rare epic and commons um, the legendary variants with the low rider and that the middle one that that's probably going to be the most clearest one but moving on with the hemlock so this one again the basic and the middle is probably going to be your safe bet and the middle is the one that, like the lost queen and the glorious one they're the legendary names for them and then on the right it's a bit too chunky you can see it sticks out a bit on the left there and uh, yeah it, it's just quite a chunk for that one um, so I, I don't really bother with uh, fluid mechanics or pressure points as their names are um, but yeah basic or the glorious one and lost queen now the R301 there are a few of these so I've got your standard three versions first of all and the one on the left and the one in the middle are obviously going to be your fine ones the, the one on the right it, you see that massive like block at the bottom and you don't realize how much space it takes up until you put it side by side with the ones on the left like I'm able to show you um, and basically the like the daybreaker it's called it's got those spikes on the top it's got the chains and that's that really big legendary second type that I tend to avoid I stick with the middle legendary type that has the cleanest sight or just a default R301 skin that will probably be the cleanest for you. 
Um, now, moving on with the special skins. These are not really worth it unless you just want to have the gun for show. Like, uh, throughout this whole video, if you want to just have a gun for show, that's fine. I do it myself all the time. The point of this video is to show you, like, what are the most efficient skins. If you are maybe wanting to save your money and spend it wisely, if you know what I mean. Um, but the, the new 301 is... The, like that's the iron rampage i i'm going to be maining that even though it looks like it takes up a lot of the screen and the fire is going to be taking up a lot of the screen I, it's still going to be an amazing skin but yeah the the basic and the middle original would have been fine for efficiency now the havoc um again the the default's going to be the cleanest one it, all in all like most guns aren't really paid to win but there are a few throughout this video that are ridiculously good <laughs> but for the havoc again i main that big chunky one on the right purely because of the animated effects i just i enjoy it for the game factor um but again there is a legendary type the first one you see in the middle um that's pretty similar to the default it doesn't take up a lot more space so um if you do want to run a legendary um but a bit more efficiently then that middle type is going to be the best one for you. Now we're moving on to the submachine guns, and if you haven't noticed, we're doing this in the exact order that it is in the loadout um, area. So, alternator. Again, basic is going to be pretty good. The middle, again, this is a legendary. That is probably, like, spot on with the default. There's not any difference there at all, and this is quite a common theme. You'll see certain... Um, like default basic type models that have the same in a legendary model but they just they spruce it up a bit and then you'll have one variant that completely changes like the one on the right you see with those little inward facing arrows the the taller iron sights um, so I tend to stick to the middle because it's a legendary it looks fancy and it isn't any taking up any more space now the prowler so this one <sighs> You've got these like Egyptian type ones. You see that on the right with those big gold ears. And I, I really like it. I do. But those ears are so annoying. I like to have that free space. So I have stuck to the middle legendary. These camo more types. And again the default actually takes up a lot. Less. It's got more of a triangle form on the front. Whereas the legendaries. Well that middle legendary. You see it has more of a round front than a triangle front. Um, so it is a bit wider, especially with that tube on the left, so it takes up a bit more space. But all in all, um, it's minimal. Um, and in all honesty, I do every now and then use the legendary on the right, just because, again, it does look pretty good. Um, but R99, okay, so this one is one of the really good ones. So you've got the basic default on the left, and you've got for some reason the r99 has these massive left chunky bits so you can see like the silver arm for the default with the blue and then in the middle like this is the legendary type of with like the chains and the spikes and again it's still pretty clear um but it's got this round iron sight in the middle that the default version also has and i'm not a fan of that round one you want it to be clear so for the R99, I definitely suggest saving your money for the type of legendary on the right because, as you can see, it's got those prongs. It hasn't got the round iron sight, and it's just a lot more clearer. Even though you do have that massive, chunky tube on the left, you, you don't really need to be looking down below at that angle. So you, I think you're fine there. Okay, moving on to the light machine guns. This video took so much effort, guys, you have no idea. Um, but I wouldn't be able to have all these 160-something legendaries if it wasn't for you, so thank you. Um, but the devotion. Now, this... <sighs> The, 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 the devotion is one of my main reasons why I bought a legendary and wanted to do this video because the actual gun on the right it's one of these like chain the lead farmer it's called and the tidal wave and they look good they've got these massive like um bullets wrapped around the front of the gun and it looks amazing but it's got this giant round iron sight you, you see that gun on the right side it's got that round iron sight and it just, oh, i hate it when i'm trying to use that so i ended up actually having a bit of a rage quit at one moment and buying the green one in the middle because 
again, the default has the best iron sight on the diva uh, on the uh, devotion. But the legendary in the middle also has the same iron sight, so I mistakenly bought the one on the right first because it looked good, but it was horrible when actually aiming down it. So yeah, I would go for that middle version. Um, it's quite brightly coloured, both of them, but I, I like it. It's pretty nice. Now the Spitfire. This is another big one. And personally, I love this gun, but the iron sights on it could... I just don't like round iron sights, guys. I'm sorry. Look at that screen. All round iron sights. Now, the default, as you can see, takes up barely any room on the screen. It's beautiful, like especially in the bottom areas. As we make our way to the middle left and the middle right, they're pretty similar, except for the iron sight on the right. It has like a bigger circle, so if you're very pinpoint with your accuracy, you're going to be able to see them clearer inside that circle. But if you're a bit all over the place, then it's not really going to help because it's just taking up more of the screen. Um, all in all, they're pretty much the same. The only thing you really need to worry about is if you care about the bottom of your screen being taken up. Even with this new special version in the recent Battle Pass, the Intimidator, um, even that is barely any different when you actually look at the top section of the gun. It's actually just the same as the default, it's just the bottom that's thicker. So personally, I just go with that because it looks amazing and it's exactly the same in the top part of the screen. Now the L-Star, this is a new weapon. So the default on this is pretty slim all of them are pretty slim and to be honest there's not really any difference some of them look very different when you're actually looking on the um, loadout menu so say you look at the blue giant it has these giant tall like um, iron sights but then you look at others like the warrior's way and it has like much shorter iron sights but when you're actually looking down the iron sights i've said it so many times um in game there's almost no difference when you look at those three pictures look at the iron sights there's almost no difference it's barely noticeable so with the l star honestly just pick whichever one you personally enjoy now sniper rifles so i've this one really surprised me because when you look at the like snipers in the loadout especially the longbow with the skulls on the end of some of them you'd think that they might get annoying when you're trying to aim down the uh, scope but it doesn't look at the screen and all three of them are pretty much the same the weird thing is with the version on the right it's got this like it's got your hands or something raised high you can see it at the bottom of the screen there that's a bit weird uh, and the middle one has some piping uh, so the default is actually like the most efficient but in terms of iron sights they're all every single iron sight on the longbow is pretty much the same get whichever one like the l star you personally enjoy now g7 scout uh, one of my favorite weapons and again as you can see every single iron sight is pretty much exactly the same and it's mainly just the bottom area of the screen as you can see the type on the right does take up a chunk at the bottom of the screen compared to the other two with that round wrapping um, but personally I love it because it's like a camo type weapon now with the Kraber so the Kraber I checked the actual scope on the different types of Kraber and the scopes exactly the same so we don't need to worry about that but what I thought I might mention is when you're holding the actual um, Kraber it's a massive chunk on your screen so I wanted to see if there was any difference and as you can see the the default is slightly less chunkier around the nose end of the gun giving you more visual room than the legendary versions and both the legendary versions are the same there's no difference there except for like the color um, so the default is better but it's barely anything so if you fancy the legendary go for it so triple take um, triple take iron sights is one of the best iron sights in the game in my personal opinion I just love it it's got a really nice clean look to it um, but as you can see it go, it's very different with this one and there's a few of them like this so the default version is very similar to one of the legendaries you see the one next to it and there, there's no difference between them really a slightly bit of width but then you've got that very middle 
like style of legendary triple take and it has these raised iron sights that are thicker as well so i really don't like that legendary version of the triple take i tend to stick to the uh the slimmer similar to the default version and then you've also got that special one um which i think was um season one I can't really remember, but we, it was one of the special guns we got, um, the beast mode thing. I can't really remember. Let me know in the comments. You, you'll all tell me. I know you will. Um, but that, that iron sight, it's chunky. Takes up the entire screen. But again, if you're just enjoying yourself, and then you don't really need to worry too much. Um, but if you're trying to be efficient, then I definitely don't recommend using it. So moving on with... The shotguns. I, I hope you're enjoying the fact that I've managed to get all this footage in game. Um, but yes, so the Eva 8. So <laughs> again, you can see one version with these dragon ears. It doesn't look like it might be that bad when you're looking at it in the loadout, loadout or in the shop. But when you actually look at it in game, it literally takes up the entire bottom half of the screen. So highly do not recommend. The default again is the slimmest, but the second legendary version in the middle is pretty much the same. So you have no worries there about getting a decent legendary Evo 8 that isn't going to take up half your screen. Uh, that's a bit weird, but I, I, I kind of hope they produce more guns like that. More crazy wild guns that are actually going to make people want to buy these skins. Now, Mozambique, nope, the Mastiff, sorry, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. The Mastiff, um, there's no real difference with the top of the iron sights. Um, the actual core gun is the exact same, and both legendaries of the Mastiff are the exact same model, but when you compare them to the default, like, epic, common, rare versions, um, it has, like, this screen, and they've added that as, obviously, like, a, it's a bit of an Easter egg. Both guns have, a, like, a different reference, but it does take up a bit of your screen, so if you are going for efficiency, I wouldn't recommend a legendary Mastiff. Now, the Mozambique, everyone's new favourite weapon. Um, all of these are pretty much the same. In all honesty, this is the one time, uh, one of the few times, sorry, I would recommend the legendary in the middle. It's more triangle based and takes up slightly less. Like literally it's like millimeters, it's so minimal. So all of them are pretty much the same, but if you're getting down to the picky bits, it's the middle legendary type that takes up the less room for me. I, I do prefer that one, even though the one on the right is my favorite, simply because it looks like a pirate like shotgun. It's, I, I just love it personally. Now, the Peacekeeper, this one, personally, this is a pay to win, and I, I don't mind that ever so slightly like it, when it's like this, um, because it is the slightest thing. So as you can see with the default version, it's actually very thick and wide. Obviously not as thick and wide as the legendary version on the right, but if you look at the legendary in the middle, it is very narrow compared to the default. So this is actually a lot more efficient, and I highly recommend this. It's it's called the Lone Star or the Superstar, and I'm sure there's probably been a shop item out for it by now. Um, but yeah, moving on to the final pistols, the RE45. Okay, so this one, again, it's a default and legendary that are pretty similar. You've got those, the default on the left and the legendary in the middle, they look very similar. Uh, barely any difference and then you've got the one on the right with this big gold chunky effect around it and again this looks really nice but it does take as you can see it takes up quite a bit compared to the other guns so um efficiency wise I, I wouldn't recommend the chunky legendary types on the right unless you just want to be a bit fancy um so the p2020 one of the last guns i got for this video so the one on the left the default obviously going to be the high much more efficient and then the two different legendary types are actually quite similar the uh the one in the middle is called lady justice and when you look at it in the loadout it looks very narrow very thin but then you don't notice that the gold side sections stick out quite a bit which is almost sticks out just as much as the green tubes on the right legendary p2020 so in terms of p2020 legendaries it doesn't matter which one you pick for efficiency but the default is probably going to be the most efficient and then last but not least is the wingman so the default and the middle legendary are the same model type Although the legendary type in the middle fires slightly differently and when you fire it for some reason 
the the recoil the gun covers where the target is so you can't track as easily um so it's highly advisable to use like the legendary gun on the right or the default the gun on the right obviously you'd probably want to use anyway because it just takes up less room on the screen and the iron sights just are a, lot, a little bit taller a little bit narrower and just give you that little bit more accuracy um but yeah that's it um i, I hope you enjoyed the video this one took a long time to put together and i wouldn't have been able to buy all of these legendary skins if it wasn't for all of you watching smashing like everything and i recently found out that only about eight percent of my viewers are actually subscribed uh, which is a lot of people that are coming back and watching my videos that aren't subscribed so please make sure you smash that subscribe button if you aren't already and make sure to hit the notification bell to get latest videos on pretty much anything apex uh, going into insane detail but other than that adios and i shall catch you later peace hi youtube please leave a subscribe and drop a fat like